Okay, that did it. Sarah, tell me you're having visions. Oh, no, just staring into space. Hmm. Well, okay, then, let's get going. twist of the knife. The joy is ephemeral. It leaves fear in its wake. A fear that all too soon the time will come when you must bid farewell again. Yet you cannot help but long for the next encounter. Humanity's great frailty. We prefer past happiness to future uncertainty. This is what the end of the world looks like. Are they going to destroy the planet? I don't know. But if the world does end here, my future should never have happened. Which means there must be a way to stop them. So, what is it? What's wrong? The daughters of the Cindered Cocoon are sacrificed to beasts of the time itself. The pillar crumbles to ash and sand, and down to earth. The cocoon does fall. What? What? Sarah. Sarah! Sarah! Was it a vision? Does Sarah have the same power as you? But why? Why did she react the way she did? Wow. That is one gigantic monster.
Hotheads who can't back down don't last long on this planet. <laughs> Maybe. But sometimes you gotta make a stand. <sighs> You're not listening to me. Humans aren't strong. They die easy. Well, some of us are tougher than others. <clears throat> anyway, thanks for the help. You got a name? Popo. <laughs> uh, uh, this is Noel. And this is Snow. We're getting married. It's on hold for now. Uh, yeah. You know, somehow I didn't expect you to be such a hothead. All I hear is what a great guy Snow is. And look where you are, all the way in the future. I'm sorry, who's the hothead? What were you thinking bringing Sarah out here? Listen, Snow. <laughs> Guess what, Lightning? I found Snow again. He hasn't changed a bit. Still as reckless as ever, still doing his own thing. To think I spent all that time worrying about him. Stupid me. Guess I'll never learn. And that's how we got here. Popo. Now it's your turn. Why did you up and leave Sarah? What are you doing fighting here in the future? <sighs> you really want to know? <laughs> I asked, didn't I? Lightning appeared in my dreams, too. Can you believe it? You saw lightning? She told me I had to protect Cocoon, so I started jumping through time, checking things out. I learned that the giant jelly bean back there knocks Cocoon down. You mean the flan we just fought? Uh-huh. According to the stories I heard back in my own time, Cocoon was brought down by war. Well, there's more than just one cause. Did you see what it was doing, that flan? It's melting the crystal of the pillar, bit by bit. But Vanil and Fang, they're inside it. Yeah, so Cocoon starts to get unstable. People feel the tremors and begin to panic. Next thing you know, everyone's fighting each other. It's consistent with what I know, sort of. I can't believe Lightning appeared in your dreams as well. She told you to protect Cocoon's pillar. So she must want you to save Vanille and Fang. Like I said, sometimes you gotta make a stand. I don't have a choice. My mission is to stop that thing for good. Are Vanille and Fang still safe? If the stories about Cocoon collapsing are true, we'd better hurry. No worries, I got it covered. That's why Lightning asked me. She knew she could rely on me to protect them and the pillar, 100%. I'll help you. So will I. There's no telling how many people will die if Cocoon falls. None of this makes sense. There are thousands of Flan appearing out of nowhere, and they're fusing and creating a beast that shouldn't exist. Could it be a paradox, Kupo? If it is, We'll need to do some traveling to fix it. Which means you've got to find an artifact mm -hmm. first. Lightning, did you meet Snow in his dreams? Is there a reason why you can only talk to us when we sleep? Snow hasn't changed one bit, even though 
It's been years since I last saw him. He's still as hot-headed as the day we said goodbye. It makes me so mad. But it's a relief, too. I've been caught up in the fate of the world for so long. It feels good to worry about the simple stuff. Being with Snow helped me forget about what the future might hold. This is a map of the area. Take it with you. There are so many little flan. Where are they all going to? We follow them straight to the artifact. Well, maybe. It could happen. They may be drawn by the space-time disturbance. Let's find out. your attention. It must be that vine. I guess he's telling us we can use it to get across. Got it. If we get stuck, just look for a vine. <sighs> hey, no. How old are you? 18. Younger than me. I guess so. This is Crystal 2. Huh. I've seen crystals like this before. Right, sir? You remember, don't you? I remember I cried a crystal tear. Yeah. Sarah, you know what it's like, don't you? Being turned into crystal. Yes, I know. It was the loneliest, scariest moment of my life. Sarah, I... <sighs> it's all right. You know, I think I dreamed the whole time. But they were good dreams. Dreams about turning back to normal. Being with my friends again. That's true. I hope Fang and Vanille are dreaming right now. I hope they're happy in there. <laughs> Fang and Vanille, they were friends of yours? And now they're sleeping inside that crystal pillar? Yeah. They've turned to crystal.
This gate leads back to the Historia Crux, right? These Flynn aren't stopping anytime soon, huh? End of the road. We have to turn back. <sighs> Come on. No way we could take that. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh. Over here! Don't encourage it! Hey, big guy, we need to get through this valley. Mind giving us a ride? Um, I don't think it hurts you. No answer. Guess I'll take that as a yes. It'll swallow you whole. <laughs> Well, let's find what? out! Whoa. No! <laughs> uh, bouncy! Is it dangerous? I think so. I think he actually likes it. Hey, just had an itch that needed scratching. Come aboard! Help me out! Hey! Check that out. Over there. No, it's too far for me, Kubo. Okay, I'll throw you closer. Kubo, Kubo! Good idea. We can broaden our search radius. Sarah, please! Save Mom, Kubo! Good luck.
where they were all trying to get to. Now we'll see what all the fuss was about. Let's break up the party and get our artifact. and prosperous, not like where you're from. And where do you come from, anyway? A place that doesn't have much in the way of fun or civilization. That's where I'm from. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Vanille and Fang. Yeah. Come to think of it, he's a lot like him. Really? How so? They were born on Grand Pulse, just like you. Back then, on Cocoon, that was really unusual. We have things in common. Well, I'll make sure to introduce them to you. One of these days. to fail if we don't find a way to defeat that flan hey don't get too wound up now people start to make mistakes when they stress out too much if you know what i mean yeah maybe you're right <laughs> okay let's do this if you want to try be my guest what do you mean for every road there's a different gate if you try to use a gate that's meant for someone else, well... See? Does this mean Snow can't come with us? Yep, he stays. Uh, guess I drew the short straw. And don't you do anything foolish behind our backs, like trying to take on giant flans single-handed? Yeah, you behave yourself or else. You got it? I'm serious, Snow. I'll be good. <laughs> yep. 